Are you looking to add product variants to your Shopify store? Then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll be going through the process I use to create product variants. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm here to help you build, launch and grow your online store so that you can create a business and life you love. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add product variants to your Shopify store. So if you're unfamiliar of what product variants are, essentially, they're options that you can add to your products that display different identifiers, such as colors, sizing, types, or even style of products. It's a great way of demonstrating different ways a customer can purchase a product without having to search through multiple products on a page. You may have seen product variants displayed in some of your favorite online stores that sell fashion or apparel. So I've just opened up Yin and Yoga. This is just a sample online store that I've created with Shopify. I use it just to play around with creating online stores so I can use it to demonstrate the different features that Shopify has uh, to you here on this YouTube channel. So I went ahead and created a mock-up product. Um, this is the Inhale and Exhale Yoga Tank. So just below the title and the price here you've got two options. You've got the size option and we've got a color option. I just went to Printful, which is a print on demand company, and just did a couple of mock ups of different tanks in different colors. So we've got this gray, this uh, green color, green slash blue, and this peach color here. If we click here onto small, this drop down, it gives you these options. So I created small, medium, large, and extra large. And then here are the colors. So we've got the gray. So this is the athletic heather. We've got dusty blue, and then we've got peach. And as you can see, when I do select the certain color, they actually, the image here actually changes. So if we go back to athletic heather, it'll actually show the tank in that color. Again, so the dusty blue and then the peach. These names are actually directly from Printful. I like to keep the color names in line with the names that the printer actually uses. That way there's less confusion. So let's head on over to Shopify dashboard and work through the steps to get your product variants up and running on your online store. So it's looking a little bit like this example here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to actually add this product into your store. So just go here into the corner and press add product. So let's give this product a name. And below that is where you would add your description. I'll just add something brief here. So for now, you won't want to worry about this organization section. I just want to concentrate on the product variants here, but if you wanted to get a little bit of information about how to organize your products into categories, check out my video on how to create and set up collections. I'll leave a link in the description below. So just scroll down and here we just want to add our images. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay. So once your images are uploaded, just scroll down and just start filling in this information here. So you can keep track of what's being sold in your online store, I would recommend you adding a SKU. So for this, we're just going to call it inhale, exhale, tank. And then as we add the product variants, they'll add an extra digit to the end of the SKU here so that when ordering, there's no confusion. For now, we'll just untick track quantity. I'll leave all of this as is for now. Okay, so now this is when we come to the variant section of the product. So here under variants, we wanna say this product has multiple options like different sizes and colors. That's correct, so we want to tick that. And now what will happen is options will appear. So let's just scroll down a little. So here we've got options and option one is size. You can actually change this text. So for example, if you wanted color, the material type, a style or title. For now, let's just leave size. Just alongside that, it says separate options with a comma. So let's start adding in our size options. So the sizing options here will be dependent on what you want to offer your customers. Sometimes print on demand services such as Printful have certain sizes in certain products. So you'll just want to make sure that it's actually in line with what they can provide. Just below that, we want to add another option. So let's go add another option. And then automatically it comes up with color. But again, you could change that. We'll leave it as is. And here we've got three different options for this tank. We've got athletic heather which is a gray, 
we've got dusty blue and we've got peach. These are the colors that Printful have supplied, so I like to keep it the same. Okay, so that's the only options we'll do for now, but again, you could add another option if you like. And if we scroll down now, you'll see that it has auto-populated with all the different variants and then the price, the quantity, and the SKU here. So if we just click into SKU for this small athletic heather and just go all the way to the end, you'll see that now they've added this number one. When you're having a look at these products as they're being ordered or shipped out, a one is not really gonna mean anything to you, so it might be worth changing all of these digits to something that's more recognizable. So for example, for small athletic heather, I'm gonna put S for small dash a h for the color so i would go ahead and do that for all of these product variants um, just so everything's all clear i'll go ahead and do that now and then come back when it's all done okay so now that i've made all those changes let's just scroll to the top here just make sure everything's right and then just hit save. Okay, now that this product has been created and all the variants added, what we wanna do is we want to just go check out and see how this is all looking. So let's just press this view button here. Okay, so here's our product, the title. We've got the price here. We've got the size and the color. And then we've got the product images here, which are actually clickable. So if we wanted a small, and let's say we wanted it in the dusty blue. So we've got the size here and we've got the color, but as you may have noticed, the image here hasn't changed like it did in the example that I showed you previously. So what we have to do, we have to set that up now. So when the specific color has been chosen, the image automatically gets changed to that color. So let's just go back to Shopify. And if we scroll down here on this product, you'll notice that the product variance section has actually changed. So it's got all of the products that we've created with the variants and the colors. So it's got all the product variant sizes and variant colors. And you'll notice just along here, we've got here, we've got small, uh, the color, and then the price. And then here we've actually got an image that can be associated with the variant. So all we need to do now is just match up the image with the color. So here we've got the athletic heather color. So let's just click the image button here and we want to select the image and go done. So for example, we've got dusty blue. So let's just click here and choose the dusty blue. And here we've got peach. So we want to click the peach color. I'll go ahead and do that for all the remaining variant and I'll see you when it's all finished. Okay, so there we have it. That's all the images matched up with the variant colors. As a note, I thought I would mention that you can actually change the price per variant. So for example, if the print-on-demand company was charging you extra for a larger size, for example, you can scroll down to your large size. So let's say extra large was $27. You just change that to 27. And then that will update as the customer chooses that product. So just hit save and let's go make sure that all of those product images have been added to the product variants. So let's just click the view button here. Okay, so we've got size small and we wanna choose the dusty blue. And there we go, so the image automatically changes. And like I mentioned before, so for the extra large, we changed the price. So let's just click on extra large and you'll see that the price updates here. Okay, so there you have it. All the steps you need to create product variants in your online store, so your customers can start making purchases. If you're looking for more tutorials on how to set up your Shopify store, why not check out my video on how to create collections? It'll help you organize your products into categories. I'll leave the video link here on this screen so you can go check it out. 